So today, we're going to take a look at making a copy of Mickey Mouse. So let's see, these are the colors that we're using. Colorful. So first, we have to make an outline. This is always the fun part, because I like tracing stuff. And it's kind of cool what we end up with. That's Mickey Mouse. This is my happy smile. And his mouth and tongue. <laughs> Oops. Okay, let's see. Let's do this part of his head. And then his nose. And his eye. This is his left eye. Now his right eye. doesn't have to be perfect. We just kind of want to get an outline, and you'll see why here in a few minutes. With left ear. Okay, now, let's do his arm. And his right glove. Like a glove. His fingers, his thumb. Now his belly. This is where his laughter comes from. We don't want him to be legless. Then he can't walk around. He'd just be hopping around. And he's not a bunny, he's a mouse. And his tail. Now, let's see. Okay, okay. Just a little bit thicker. Okay. Let's make his legs black. Because he's going to be wearing his normal outfit. Okay. Okay. Now, his other plant leg. Just 
Now he's got pants. Okay. Let's see. Let's do his shirt. We can do this in any color we want, but I wanted to make him look like normal Mickey Mouse. At least for this video. But we can do some super cool things with the style of drawing and coloring. Okay, 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 that's done. Okay, let's ride on. Uh oh, I got some on his glove. It's okay, Mickey. It's okay. I promise. I won't do it again. Okay, okay, look at that. He's got pants and on and, um, his shirt. What do we submit to your head? If this was Marsha Mindy, I might do this in a different color like green. But this is Mama Mindy, Mickey, so I don't think I'll be doing it. Do, do, do. Kind of need a flower marker for this, but that's a pizza stock. He's got a lot of black in his head. Might have to get a new marker after this one. Okay, 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 okay. I'm almost done with this here. Hot dog! Do you guys watch Mickey Mouse Clubhouse? I know I do. I watch it a lot. In my favorite times, or when they solve everything, Using tools, and we get to sing and dance the hot dog song. It's a fun song to dance to. If you haven't done it, you should try it. Hot dog. Go, 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 go. Hot dog, hot dog, hot dog, hot dog. Hot dog says, ew, it's looking good. Let's finish his face so we can go. Use some other colors and make him glow. He's got a colorful head. Not really. Because it doesn't have blue, green, or red. It's all black, but his tongue is blue. Not really, it's red. But you know that. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, look at that. Now that we've done everything with our Sharpie, I'm actually going to change it up and use these dry erase markers. So, we're going to do his pants red. Okay. Oh, 
how it's working. Okay. And it's a white marker, so it makes it easier to color. Yep, looking good, looking good. Kind of looks like watercolor. Okay. Alright, we got his pants. Now, I'm going to use the orange one, the yellow one, kind of. For his shoes. Do 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 do. It is orange. I don't have a yellow, and if I did, I don't think it would show up too well. So I just want to give it some color. I do have some white permanent markers, but I wanted to do this first because I wanted to show you something. Oh, I forgot to do this little indentation in the shoe, so I have to fix that. Alright, now. Let's do his thing here. Okay. That's kind of cool, right? Okay. Now let's see what this really looks like. If we take this, we're just going to take it out of my cutter. Say what? Look at that. And if we take this sheet of paper, Now we have a copy of Mickey Mouse. Okay, isn't that cool? Of course we can use all the colors and make it more colorful, but I just wanted to show you this. Now, you might be asking, we use permanent marker here, and we use dry erase marker here. Now because this is plastic, we can of course erase and wipe off the red part, but we can't do it for the color part that we did in black because it's permanent. Now, most people might go and take and use um, some soap and maybe some um, alcohol to try to remove it, but that's not the easiest thing because you'll be scrubbing for a while. If you take your dry erase marker and let's say we want to remove this out and then let's say we want to remove part of its tail and we want to remove its hand all you have to do is outline and write over it with this marker this works really good um, if you accidentally use a permanent marker on a whiteboard too. Let's say we want to get some of this color out. And we'll give him some that. Okay, now, watch. We can then just take a towel or tissue and wipe off the permanent marker. See? It's not really permanent. It's our ball. And it's tail. And it's ear. See? That's a pretty neat trick. So, that's all I wanted to show you right now. I hope you enjoyed it. That's all I wanted to show you right now, but I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, all our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. And, that's the real trouble with the world. Too many people grow up. Those are my favorite sayings. Okay guys, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks, bye bye.